What's up YouTube and welcome back to another medieval dynasty guide today I wanted to take some time to share with you some useful hunting tips that will hopefully make gathering meat leather or fur easier If you find this video helpful in any way and would like to show your support Drop a like and hit that subscribe button to help reach our goal of 10,000 subscribers Now let's get started All right So let's briefly discuss what animals you can and cannot hunt in medieval dynasty as explained in a previous video I did currently we can hunt rabbits foxes wild boars wolves bison bears and deer and of course fish if you want to include those as well okay so starting with our first tip this is going to be stay away from deer unless necessary so this is probably my biggest advice at the moment for hunting and that is to stay away from deer if you are a beginner deer are very elusive almost impossible to keep up with because of our stamina and overall just not worth it if you're trying to farm meat or leather Although deer can be found in groups of three to four with a buck or two included as well, they are definitely not forgiving on the non-stealthiest of hunters. Moving on, I would definitely make sure that you at least have your tracker skill unlocked. One of the most important skills to unlock is the tracker skill under the hunting tree. This skill will allow you to see both passive and aggressive animals when using your senses skill. While out hunting, this becomes handy especially if you start hunting small game like rabbits, foxes, and boars, which you will be able to spot a lot easier by using your senses. Besides this, you may unfortunately find yourself up against a wolf while running at night and can use your tracker skill to identify where the rest of the pack are so that way you don't run into them as well. Now unfortunately, the next tip I have here, I have made this mistake for literally half of the time that I spent playing Medieval Dynasty and it's honestly a very silly mistake and one that is easy enough to correct. Always try your best to aim for the head when hunting. Headshots for almost every animal except the bison and bear will cause instant death which saves you a lot of time from chasing animals around. Remember that when you aim and either throw your spear or shoot your arrow it does have a drop so aim a little above the head depending on how far you are away from your target. Next let's talk about using traps for easy meat. Traps are one of the most underrated features in the game and are very important for easily gathering meat, feathers, and so forth. Besides rabbit traps, fish nets are very useful for sustainable food sources later in the game, while bird traps are the only way to actually catch birds, and of course you can gain feathers from them if you need them. Now rat traps are another option and again can net you some easy meat. Traps usually have 3 or 4 uses, but will catch animals usually twice a day, so make sure that you go around and you check them. Now this next tip may seem like it's very straightforward and probably very much common sense, but always keep a skinning knife on you. There's nothing like defeating a handful of wolves, just to forget you didn't bring a skinning knife. I have been guilty at doing this plenty of times, and while you could pick up some rocks and sticks to make a new one, let me tell you, finding rocks in the middle of nowhere, especially at night when it's not winter, can be very very aggravating and time consuming. So again, just keep a knife on you at all times. Now you may or may have not seen the show Naked and Afraid, but the same applies if you're hunting and it is not winter, I repeat it is not winter. Remove all of your clothes and everything from your inventory, only keeping your skinning tools and whatever your hunting weapon is. This will save a ton of personal storage and allow you to get a very good hunting season in, bringing back plenty of meat, furs, and leather. Now you could of course keep a water canister and some simple food on you to make sure to keep your nutrition and your hydration up, but that's honestly about it. Now tip number 7 we talk about durable spears, although arrows may be easier to shoot and hit your target, spears work very well early on because once they hit the target they actually stay inside of the target if they are 66% or higher. While your tracker senses are great, they do not have much range and therefore if you're hunting something like deer that tend to run away and you can't often see them, you can often use your sense skill that will allow you to be able to see your spear because it's still stuck in them. This just makes it easier to track the deer or whatever you're trying to hunt. Moving on to never forget to use your tools. Next let's talk about the fact that you don't really need to rely on your bow and arrows or spears to kill animals. Your tools can actually cause damage to animals and kill them, which I have done plenty of times when running out of spears. However, I would recommend that whatever you're swinging with, whether that be an axe, a scythe, or a knife, make sure that you crouch when doing so and are close to the target so you don't miss your hits. Now I would not recommend you hunt only with these of course, but if you run out of spears or arrows, feel free to turn around and swing those tools. Last but not least, I would always and always recommend that if you are hunting any type of aggressive animal, you be aware of where the broadleaf plantains are around you for emergency health. These are usually scattered around in bunches and can literally save your life. 
There have been plenty of times I'm hunting wolves, bears, or bison, and as I was running away, my health is very low. I use my senses to find where these little plants are. I pick up a few and then I regain some health and I'm good to go to turn around and start fighting whatever that animal is again. All right, everybody, I do hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, drop a like and subscribe. We have plenty of more guides and tips for Medieval Dynasty coming very soon, of course, so be on the lookout for those. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.